Assalamualaikum, selamat sejahtera and good morning to all and welcome to the first session of Brush Up, a virtual professional skills training program talk series brought to you by Yayasan Tenaga Nationals, Unitan Leadership Exploration Development Program you lead. I am Nur Azan, pleased to be your host for today. For your information, Brush Up is a virtual professional skills training program by ULIT, which consists of three different talk sessions time in at different time segments with various topics to choose from in hopes to help undergraduate improve and upgrade their professional skills to the next level. These sessions will introduce you to a variety of soft and professional skills in which you will be able to utilize in the future working environment and also for the use of self-improvement and in today's session we will be discussing on the topic appearance and character grooming how self-grooming enhances one's personality and self-esteem why personal care is a must in any career path and most important how to present yourself in the best way possible. This in which will be presented by our honorable speaker in just a while. This topic in particular is not only emphasized to undergraduates but also to all human beings in general as it is a vital quality in order to gain positive reactions and impression towards ourselves on a daily basis. Hopefully, our session today will enlighten more people on the importance of personal appearance and character grooming as both of these are important aspects to help you demonstrate your best quality in your professional career or in other words, helping you shine. Before I introduce our speaker today, here are some friendly reminders to all general viewers in the meeting room. Firstly, for those joining us in the meeting room, please switch off your microphone and camera during this session to avoid any disruptions during the event. Second, to all Unitan students, be sure to key in your details in the link pin in the comment section before you go. You will be getting score on points for the participation if you do so. Third, you may post your relevant questions to our speaker during the Q&A session. Let me explain how you can talk to us during the event. If you have any questions or uncertainties, you may type them in the comment box provided. And if you choose to verbally convey your questions in the meeting room, just uh, turn on your mic and you can verbally say your questions. You may do so by clicking the hand icon provided at the top and we will call out your name during the Q&A session for you to ask your questions to the speaker. Last but not least, do share our, our live session with your friends and peers so that they too can join us and gain insight from today's session. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce our honorable speaker for today. Today's speaker is well known for her contribution in research and teaching with a total experience for almost 20 years our speaker today is undoubtedly a familiar face loved by all. Only has she received awards for, not only has she received awards from research, teaching, learning, but also has published several articles involving communication strategies, developing leadership, communication abilities, language learning, and so much more. Her roles in education ranges from English lecturer, language instructor, subject coordinator, club advisor, head of leadership and intellectual categories, and most importantly, personal enrichment and empowerment program, PIP, Unitan's very own soft skill workshops coordinator. Our speaker today has definitely got it all. Without further ado, I would like to invite Madam Noshu Haida Muhammad Shukri to present her session for today. Please welcome. Hey, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very beautiful morning. I bid to all my beloved participants and thank you so much, Miss Azian. Um, for uh, inviting me to this particular session and especially uh, the brush up team uh, who 
would have you know uh, prepared this particular program i think about three months ago if i could remember thank you so much for this you know golden opportunity and today i am so blessed yeah that i could meet all of you guys um and share with you a little bit of tips that i have based on my experience based on my reading yeah, and also um, some knowledge that I gain uh, throughout, you know, uh, my teaching, um, doing research, and also attending some other workshops outside uh, to improve myself, actually, okay, to improve myself first. And then I believe that I should share all of this information with all of you. Yeah. So, um, we are going to start yeah, our session um, regarding to professional appearance and um, character grooming. Uh, it, it, it was the topic or the title that was given to me, I think, three months ago. Okay, uh, And I am giving, I'm given this one hour duration for me to share as much as I can uh, with the capability that the God has given me to all of you. Okay, so first thing first, I would like all of you to take a deep breath, okay? Breathe in and breathe out, okay? Breathe in and breathe out. So in this session, I would like to remind that we need to empty, empty the glass, yeah? Whenever we want to start Absorbing new, absorbing new information, we need to empty our mind, relax, yeah? empty the glass. And then uh, whatever knowledge that you, you guys learned today, it belongs to you. If you understand it, if you um, fully discovered something new, something, um, an awareness towards certain things, it belongs to you. Okay, and you can start applying it and the best thing is if you can start spreading this information to to other people that's gonna be great yeah okay um thank you eh, asian for reminding me uh, with all of this information that um actually those of the achievements uh, didn't actually belong to me okay um, without the greatness of uh, the God, I will not be here today. Yeah, I will not be here. So um, we need to remember that whoever we are today and whatever we are doing currently is because of the love of God. Okay, that one is number one that we need to really understand. Okay, before we are able to wake up today, who actually granted all of this? Yeah. Um, the air that we breathe, the good night sleep that we had last night to make our brain function normally, our lungs function properly, and all the system in our body function. All right. So um, there is no might yeah, nor power except with, with the God, yeah, with the God. And um, we need to remember one thing that we surely belong to God and to Him we shall return. It means that we surely belong to the place that where we're supposed to be one day. Yeah. So there is nothing that we need to be proud of in our life, yeah, but we need to always improve and improve and improve. Okay? And to accept ourselves for who we are. And try to uh, make it better yeah, in your uh, everyday. Be grateful and have this will to, to always improve ourselves from time to time. Okay, now I'm going to share with you guys uh, the notes that I have prepared for you. Okay, because uh, it's just going to be, you know, one hour session. So we are going to have okay this some preparation that I uh, you know prepared for you some notes some slides 
It's going to be compact, okay, so that you can grab this information quickly and start practicing it as soon as possible. Okay, so um, let me ask you, how do we communicate? Yeah? We believe that uh, the ideas that we have, the information that we have read from anywhere, yeah, the, the things that being shared to us, the input that we have, and then we produce it in our spoken language or verbal is the most important. Most of, most of us would think like that, right? However, according to Dr. Albert Mehrabians, yeah, the rule, okay, the 73855 rules, yeah, applies to communication. These are very important elements of personal communication. Personal meaning that we as a person um, would display ourselves, yeah, uh, in, in order to communicate to other people. 7% of spoken words, 38%. Voice and tone, 55% body language. All right, so from here, from this portion, we have understood that body language, actually the major part in our personal communication. All right, we have words and we enhance it with Voice with good voice, good intonation, tone, pauses, stresses, and such. But body language would actually reveal more information about oneself. Okay? So why should we portray professional appearance? Um, we are just students. And uh, yeah, we are going to be engineers one day and maybe IT specialists or maybe business, yeah, um, a business expert one day because we took business administration. So believe it or not, whether we accept it or not, we are meeting, you know, the industry, the professionals. So from now on, we need to think professionally, we need to act professionally, and we need to dress professionally. Okay, so let's discover some of the reasons why should we portray professional appearance, yeah? Okay, looking your best is important because you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So in this life, we need to focus on the present time. Yes, we have lots of experience, we have lots of history, but it was in the past. And we are looking forward for our better future, but it's not happening yet. We are planning towards it. But what is important is the here and now. That we need to improve who we are currently and looking at our best because we never get a second chance to make this good impression to to our colleagues to our friends to our lecturers to other people so the moment that just passed just now will never be repeated we can never turn back time so we don't want to live in you know, in full of regrets. I should have done better. I should have uh, dressed up properly during the interview session because I might get job. People will hire me. So we don't want to have the later, you know, resentment or sorrow, mm. um, gloomy days, just because we didn't appreciate, we didn't really prepare okay ourself here and now all right so first impression may be formed in less than a minute just by looking at a person people people could actually judge us people could try to understand who is this person how is he character uh, 
how is he going to behave? Uh, what are his characteristics? These are people, you know. Um, we cannot stop them from judging, from perceiving whatever they, they want. All right. So it's our job. So it's our job to stop, man, to stop all of those negative thinking, negative or being judgmental. Yeah? And um, perhaps um, the uncomfortable feelings of others toward us. We are the one who need to start protecting ourselves by appearing better, appearing professional. And we all make assumptions, yeah? Ah, like other people, they will just assume based on what they see. We don't have to say anything, yeah? Because our clothes will communicate the message. Our body language, yeah? Hand gestures, our facial expression, our posture, all of this will determine, you know, uh, better and greater information about someone, about ourselves particularly. All right? Yeah, so that's why that's the first point, yeah? And the importance of image clothing is the most powerful non-verbal communication tool you possess. All right, when you are an engineer one day, you must actually act like an engineer, you must think like an engineer, and you must dress pro properly to the situation, to the certain situation. Your office, you must have your office attire to the site, you must know what to wear properly, yeah, so that it matches and suitable. And then when you have this gathering, yeah, uh, family gathering or uh, dinner, gala dinner with the organization, so you should know what you should choose and what you should wear. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are you following me so far? Can I get some response? Yes, madam. Yes. 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 We are following you. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, madam. All right. And besides that, your clothing becomes a seamless integration of who you are and what you want. If you are uh, going to, you know, uh, get something in your life, for example, you want to be uh, the best and successful engineer, uh, the one who want to help the organization to build the organization even you want to expand your own business one day you must be in that character from now on okay so it is the integration of who you are and what you want you're gonna you're gonna attract the things that you want if you behave like one Right, and what you wear tells the story who you are because we have uh, many uh, friends coming from uh, different countries. Yeah, we have many friends who are from, I mean, having different nationalities in, in Unitent itself. So we can actually try to see, yeah, uh, the pattern uh, or perhaps the country or the place of origin just by looking at their traditional clothing all right and to the next extent to the next uh, things that we never thought people would try to tell the frame of our mind can you imagine just by looking the way we dress they can tell oh, okay this is his mindset Oh, this is their education background like that, okay? And this uh, that is also represent our social attitudes toward other people, all right? So these are uh, the sometimes that people might overlook all of this thing. Is people love to judge based on what they, they see, right? And seven reasons why we should maintain our professional appearance. Number one, definitely, we're going to feel extra confident about ourselves. 
that's the most important thing when you start working in the industry one day yeah um you wake up and then you dress up and then you're ready to go for your job or let's be more realistic that we are currently working from home and um we can tell the difference right compared to previous our previous lifestyle that we used to have um we would wear properly and then we would go to classes and at least uh we have more confident okay to to meet up with people to do presentation because we are wearing proper dress and yeah? wearing proper dress code but during the pandemic yeah thank god for this kind of um reminders for us to to show you know to to actually admit his greatness yeah the pandemic is one of greatness of god actually we should look at it as the love that god gives us okay so during this reality we are currently at home we have our presentation at home we have our program at home virtual program and sometimes we just didn't want to uh dress up for what just to go to have this virtual class or uh, workshops or maybe some programs we don't even have to really bother about our appearance, right? And when we are going to present during our virtual class presentation, we start to feel like, um, I'm not sure whether I could deliver this properly or not. Yeah, I am. The feeling is different. Sometimes just because we are not in the character of a presenter okay so my suggestions even if you are having this online or virtual final year project presentation you must wear properly you must dress up properly you must have proper environment professional so that during the delivery session you'll be confident and then the panels gonna grant you with better grades and score regardless if we are in our room in front of our pc regardless because appearance is like an anchor remember i repeat is an anchor for you to be confident all right and besides we are more likely to draw positive attention people want to talk people want to befriend with a person who always take care of their personal hygiene and dress properly or follow the university dress code because we know that okay he is very clean she's very clean she took care of herself very well and she he is so good at taking care of himself no body order and whatsoever yeah so people want to come and talk and of course be friends with us they're comfortable with us draw positive attention we are the one who radiate this positivity so we need to take care of ourselves all right we are trusted to best represent ourselves as well as the organization mm. if we have this uh, proper image professional appearance the company also trust us put the trust to let us be the representative plus all the knowledge that you learn in your university and with all the soft skill that you learn from peep workshop you know from all of this club and societies um from you lead you have everything with you and now it's about time for you to really make sure that how you're going to present yourself to others all right and to influence them and to inspire them that's the most important all right next we exhibit better personal hygiene and care of course if we have professional appearance people will know that we, we have done our laundry we have the care of ourselves and we value ourselves right we look appear we look and appear more mature 
as we are, you know, tertiary level students, the highest level of education, yeah, uh, from primary, secondary, and tertiary, yeah. So this is the level that we need to project our maturity, our thinking, our language, our mannerism, yeah, our belief system, our values will appear more mature. Trust me. Okay, and we'll fit better into the organization because we got the that trust from our colleagues and bosses. Yeah, superior. And another thing is we're gonna stand out in the crowd better compared to those who didn't really care about themselves. But they have their brain, they have a big one, okay, but they forget to have this self-love and remember our body our self if the thing that is the closest to us okay the what do you call divine yeah divine divine means like something that is so holy something that is so important for us to take take care of is our body physique just that okay so we need to take care of ourselves, our body. We need to improve. We need to work out. We need to eat, you know, a balanced diet. We need to start looking at our health from now on, especially you young, young students. All right. Okay. But how do we improve our professional appearance? Okay. We know that is very important, ma'am. But what do we do now? I have no idea, right? So um, I have listed few things so that you guys can check it out here. But if you have anything you want me to add more on it, please ask me during the Q&A session, okay? All right. So first thing first, we should wear business suits in basic colors. Yeah, basic colors, uh, normally in dark color, earth colors, okay? Like um, brown, navy blue, charcoal gray okay uh, all of these tones yeah uh, from the hues of, of these colors yeah uh, and we don't have to be to have so striking or fluorescent okay to attend a meeting uh, but if it's online i i don't think it's a big problem but later on yeah when we are meeting uh face to face okay and always be neat and clean, clean, including your teeth. We need to take care of our uh, oral hygiene as well. Fingernails, yeah, fingernails. Make sure you trim, make sure you cut if it's too long, all right? And just make sure that if we have longer nails, we need to always clean it and make sure it's nothing stuck in your nails, yeah? But I suggest that it's not hygienic, because we want to eat, yeah, but think twice, yeah, think twice. Okay, but my suggestion is to keep your nails nice and tidy. And then our face, yeah, we should start taking care of our skin from now on because you are still very young. Invest on this SPF, uh, what do you call that? Uh, sunscreen or sunblock. Whenever you love to go to the... Uh, you know, snorkeling or hiking and whatnot, do apply, eh? do apply sunblock because it will protect you from direct UV to our skin. Uh, and it will, your skin will age quickly, not before, you know, your, like, what do you call that, uh, older than your age. So we don't want that to happen. So we need to start taking care of our skin from now on. Start having moisturizer for girls, yeah, start investing on uh, the product that's suitable for your skin. Uh, keep on searching for better product until it suits your skin. Take this four years or three years in university to repair our skin, to improve and rejuvenate ourselves. All right, work out, stay in a good physique, okay? Make sure your, your bones are strong, your muscles are developed well, and then 
uh, your digestion system, you know, working very well. So this is very, very important, yeah? And uh, your hair and even your shoes, okay? People will start looking at us from top to bottom, yeah? Some people. Uh, so, all right, uh, things to be, you know, uh, reminded. And then number three, keep your pockets empty and as much as possible, uh, avoid tinkling coins or keys and bulges. When you are uh, dressing up in your suits, nice suit, uh, nice color that you have chosen that day, uh, but make sure that you try to check in your pockets, yeah? Avoid tinkling coins or keys. Keys, uh, make sure that it is well kept yeah make sure no bulges lah at least no bulges okay and then uh, i don't say that this is wrong or not too professional uh it's fine but from time to time try to observe ourselves kalau kita terlupa tak apa okay but things to remember is we need to check our ourself yeah all right, next, uh, avoid eating candies, smoking cigarettes, and chewing gum when we are inside our office. Uh, even if you want to talk to someone, yeah, um, clients, your boss, uh, your lecturer, even your friends, um, perhaps you want to have, you know, like study group. I don't think it's, it's suitable if we are, you know, practicing this kind of thing. Um, unless we are so close, personal, yeah? Uh, so I think, and it is not something that related to work, yeah? Important work. Uh, so it applies to a situation in which you need to engage in a serious discussion, okay but with friends uh we just want to have fun then it's no problem okay but when we engage in a serious discussion try to avoid you know doing all of these things because it do not appear professional all right some people some bosses they could accept but um the situation will get awkward okay all right so this person is chewing gum during you know discussion with me and it's about kpi key performance indicator you know that right it's very important so don't do that yeah and number five use portfolio case or light briefcase yeah when carrying important document so it's better for you to have proper things proper file uh light simple uh, no cartoons, okay, at that time. Uh, looked professional and, and plain, maybe, to carry documents instead of uh, compiling it in, in a, you know, folders and carrying this between our armpit. It doesn't look very much uh, professional, yeah? So look, uh, relax. You have already prepared everything and then put in one uh, portfolio case simple, plain, okay, and you feel confident with all your um, attire, basic colors only, right, and for the girls, number six, and I think for guys also, wear light perfume and cologne, okay, uh, not so overpowering, yeah? later we will discover this more, and then uh, minimize using lots of jewelry, yeah, one or two it's fine and then not too big and not too small so moderate okay so this is an example for formal dress code for men yeah look uh, i told you the color yeah? dark brown charcoal gray and then navy blue or even black yeah? black can go and suit with so many occasion and situation okay uh next is business casual for men 
Okay, this uh, perhaps you guys might look at, wow, I think this might be, must be very expensive, right, madam? <laughs> okay, this is just an example, the image, how you would bring yourself. Even though our clothes are very cheap, that we got very, very, you know, good bargain uh, or clearance, yeah? Uh, it doesn't matter, but the one who carry, who wear it, and the way you tidy up yourself using those um, reasonable price product too, is the most important thing. The person, meaning that you, okay, how you match, mix and match the colors can, uh, so that it turn out to be uh, not so um, disturbing, you know, to other people. You, you match with uh, the earth color, and it turned out to be very, very nice and normal, you know, like, like other people are wearing it. Okay, so it's about time for us to look and to evaluate our image now, our lifestyle. Okay. Um, are you guys following me? So far, so good? Yes, yes, madam. Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Thank you so much. Yes, madam. More than good. <laughs> I'm glad to know that. Okay, next uh, for women. Okay, uh, so we have a suit that is for our office attire. Okay, uh, so you can uh, dress up formally like this. You can either have your uh, pants, you can have your skirt on. Yeah, it looks tidy and very professional. Okay. Uh, next is for business casual. Business casual, just make sure that uh, we we still look okay, not to um, expose, yeah, uh, moderate, and then color. Okay, so mix and match. Yeah, your your wardrobe. Moving on, yeah, for ladies. Uh, those who do not prefer to have very heavy makeup, and I don't, I don't recommend heavy makeup uh, during our, um, you know, working time. Um, for example, just to have a meeting, yeah, to meet with clients and all that. Heavy makeup is for dinner. We need to know when we should put on thick makeup. Uh, put on those. Falsies. I think girls should know this. Yeah? Uh, put on those glitter, glitter, can. Uh, or shiny, shiny, no need. Yeah? During your um, the, the daily or weekdays working hours. So it's just um, important for a lady to apply foundation on your face. Yeah? Foundation is very important. Before that, we must prep our skin. Okay, before we apply foundation, we must prep it using what? Just now, I I told you the moisturizer. Okay, we put the moisturizer first. Don't let our skin dry. Okay, we cannot let and just it's okay lah. I, I don't have time. So we need to start waking up earlier because we need to take care of ourselves. We need to work and the work requires us to look better. Okay. And we need to put this foundation. Um, then some people might think that, okay lah, then no makeup lah, it's fine lah, I don't want lah. Because I don't have time lah and all that, right? And then we appear like not very energetic, yeah? Kita nampak letih, lesu. Okay, so we need to, like I told you, anchor, okay, anchor to make us feel confident. Put the moisturizer and then we put uh, the, what do you call that just now? SPF, uh, uh, sunblock, okay, we put sunblock because we don't want the UV to directly penetrate our skin and then foundation also have some SPF, uh, we put it nicely and then we put some powder, loose powder, and then eyeliner a bit and a lipstick. Uh, okay, nude lipstick will be will be very good already. So you see, minimal makeup, and then you are going to be very confident, and people are comfortable also talking to us. 
because we have this this energy, this good and positive energy with us. Okay, for the guys, uh, basic grooming kit lah for the guys. Every day you must at least have hair gel. Okay, argan oil, ke, olive oil. Uh, if you like those gel base uh, hair uh, hair product, you can always uh, check out on Watson Guardian or maybe online yeah, Shopee ke whatever. You can buy one and make sure it's suitable with your hair lah. And you must start investing on lip balm. Okay, so you take care of your lips yeah don't make it crack or kering sangat nanti luka eh? you love yourself okay lip uh, and then for for guys yeah i i think it is also important for you to take care of your facial uh, skin as well okay mm. so if you don't mind you need to start investing on facial product you must start having your facial foam during shower too, you must uh, cleanse your face. You have to, okay? We, we need to take out all those uh, free radicals and particles, pollutions, yeah? pollutants that can uh, clog your pores. And that's why kita ada naik pimples. The oil, kan? Uh, below the sweat, we didn't really clean it. Deep cleansing start to invest on that okay so you after cleaning okay okay lah uh, just just cleanser and then if you want to upgrade your skincare routine you can start using moisturizer kalau if you don't want to use it during daytime during night time buy the night cream okay so masa tidur it will repair our skin tomorrow morning we wake up alhamdulillah thank god wow okay i feel good today my skin's uh, healing yeah healed from whatever problems that it had yesterday mm, okay so take your time love yourself yeah, from now on and then uh Put on SPF, right? If you want to play football, if you want to go for hiking, snorkeling, boleh, okay? Tak ada masalah, but you need to, to cover your skin from UV. Hmm? Protect uh, our skin. Okay, and then just now, lip lah, eh? Okay, lip balm. But this, at least these two things are very important when we want to meet person, pers uh, okay, other people face to face so that rambut kita okay terurus yeah we manage our hair very very well make sure the dandruff okay uh, and then lips uh, like girl they are they're having this they put on something but at least for you you have lip balm uh, that will make you look fresh and energetic okay so uh, for male, we need to prevent body odor. This is very, very important. Yeah, we need to at least invest on good perfume, deodorant. Yeah, but without overpowering. Yeah, facial hair, mustache and beard. Yeah, please trim it. Uh, and then fingernails, like I told you just now, uh, cut and wash hand frequently. Wash hands, sanitize. Yeah, and oral hygiene. Yeah, make sure we try to avoid our bad breath and for female uh so easy dress modest and moderately not excessive uh, accessories and uh, makeup so tak perlu banyak banyak just one or two like i mentioned earlier uh, not too much dressing according to uh, according to your age and level okay our age is just 18 or 20 and we need to be simple and then fresh younger looking okay and prevent our body odor as well and take care of our oral hygiene. Now, let's look at character grooming. I believe all of you um, already understood on how to take care of yourself from now on. And it is very important also to double check and analyze our own characters, okay? our own values and belief system all right so we are going to groom our character from now on at 19 years old if you are 19 years old maybe 20 or 21 or 24 regardless it's never too late for you to start grooming your characters even at my age okay i'm very old already but i really really want to improve and groom my characters okay number one 
each and every one of us, we must have a purpose, clear purpose in our life. Why are we here in this world? Why do we study engineering? Why um, am I attending this workshop? Yeah, why? So you need to find your big why. Remember, yeah. Uh, so if you want to know further on how to finding your big why, perhaps you need to attend my web, my workshop later on. Yeah, another workshop for that. Yeah, and then we need to also become self aware. We need to be mindful in every day in our life. Mindful in terms of we we have to enjoy the present time. We need to enjoy the feelings, the situations that we are currently experiencing at the moment. So, how to do that? Okay, you start slowing down yourself. Okay, you start to look outside the window and then you look at the sky. How big it is. Start looking at the plants. Okay, take a deep breath. And then start looking at the animals that you can see, that you can catch with your eyes at that time. Perhaps birds are flying. We forget to enjoy every little things that God has created in this world. Okay, so I challenge you to start being so mindful about your life from now on. You take your time to enjoy every little moment because it will never be repeated. Okay, when you eat, your parents, your mother prepare and cooked very delicious food, your favorite food in front of you on the dining table. Wow, the things that we just did was ate the food quickly because we have, you know, um, an online game to be joined with our friends like Among Us and something like that. Um, and then we need to, um, oh, I did class. Sorry, mom, I cannot stay with you and eat together, together, uh, sembang, sembang, uh, laugh, laughing, you know, all together with family and siblings. Uh, so but I had a class. All right. So we tend to speed up our life until we forget to live to really really live in the moment okay take your time to look at the dishes that your mom cooked for you today ataupun kalau kita order food panda you know, uh, grab food whatever de being delivered to us and we open the box and we looked at it alhamdulillah eh? thank you god for giving this you know, this food on my table today ada juga makanan hmm Okay, wow, looks so delicious. I do love, and then we can see this, those green fresh vegetables with this, you know, um, hot rice served in front of me with the gravy. Wow, the gravy looks so yummy. Have you ever appreciate the food to that extent? Itu baru kita lihat visual. Okay, and when we taste it, you start to taste all the beautiful taste and delicious taste that your, your mom cook eh, for you. Feel like, oh, wow, the salt and then the sour, you know, the sweetness. Everything is so yummy. Wow, alhamdulillah. Again, you thank your God. Yeah? You thank being grateful for this. Then drink. Maybe orange juice, icy rock, ke, teh tarik, ke, whatever. Yeah, you nikmati, you enjoy, and then you experience it. Mm, enjoy the moment. Yeah, relax, take your time, enjoy. At least lunch time too is like so meaningful for you because you have your family around you. Okay, uh, it's gonna be a very very happy moment for you. Mm. So self aware. It's very important. So same thing when we are studying. 
okay, kita aware. Okay, deadline is like this. That uh, the submission and then the test and then the final exam. We start to be aware of our life. We are mindful. Okay. We forget the past because it's just it's already happened and we can never turn it back. And we are looking forward for our future, but. We shouldn't be so anxious about it because it's not happening yet. And we need to live in the now, in the present time. Okay? So when you feel stressed out, when you feel so down, when you feel so disappointed, let the feeling come. Let you express it. Uh, you experience it. You just tell yourself that, yes, I'm just a human being. I'll be tested with so many things. I am currently feeling very down, but that's okay. I'm not going to put so much energy on that down or disappointment feeling. I just want it to let go quickly. Imagine the sushi train in Sushi King tu kan? Uh, macam tu je, imagine dia akan berlalu. Dia memang akan, we are going to feel the pain at that time, but don't put so much energy to that pain. Don't start listening to those songs, those, those gloomy and sad songs. You don't have to recall and recall and recall those negative or the bad experience or nightmare that you had. You just let it fade, it, yeah? fade and fade and fade away. So you can let it go slowly, just like sushi train, okay? So it will go away. And tell yourself that thank you for this experience, but I don't want I don't want you in my life. I don't want you sadness in my life. I want to move on. I have lots of goals to achieve. I want to make my family proud of me. I'm not gonna live in this gloomy life. Okay. So from that you start strengthen your your inner self. You start to be so peaceful about yourself. You rasa tenang, you rasa damai. This is the tip untuk mendamaikan diri, ya, untuk kesejahteraan. Okay, so when we feel tenang, damai, relaxed, tak ada apa pun, all of the problems in this world can be solved. Remember that. There's nothing that you cannot solve. You have to find the, the correct person to ask. The problem will be solved. You can listen, you can learn, you can watch YouTube, you can get the answer, you can ask lecturer, you can ask Madam Ida, you can ask your parents, you can have your grandparents, you can ask your siblings. There's nothing in this world that cannot be solved. Semua permasalahan ada jalan penyelesaian. Yeah, remember that. So jangan risau. Don't keep it to yourself. Share with other people so that others can 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 help us. But we need to we need to care about others first. Sebelum kita nak orang lain care about us. Before we want other people to care about us, we need to care about them first. Biarlah orang nak cakap. Eh, apa hal dia ni tiba-tiba nak tolong pula. Okay, what happened to this guy? And suddenly he wanted to help me with my work. Regardless, because we want to be someone new. Alright? So, I know what I want to achieve. Start wishing birthday to our friends. Okay? Start helping your parents. Start doing this and that. Good deeds. Good deeds will make you feel good about yourself. And never expect anything in return. Okay? So, kalau you nak rasa tenang, you rasa tak best today, you buat some good deeds. Trust me. And when you look at their face, the smile, ah, uh, you rasa lega. You rasa tenang. Try. I challenge you to try. Kalau tak cukup satu, tak rasa tenang pun satu, you buat dua. Okay, you do two, three, four every day. Doing good deeds. It will make you feel so calm, relaxed. Inner peace is very important. And if you can uh, reach this inner peace at this young age, what more you could have asked for? 
sampai nanti sampai tua kan uh, when we are getting older and old, older we are so relaxed in our life tak ada tergesa-gesa, panik, anxious tiba-tiba, nak nak depressed, nak marah, nak, ya, yeah, no need. Relax. Tak ada apa pun. Everything can be solved. That's why we must learn as much as we can from now on. Like all of you are attending workshops, uh, you know, attending other other webinars, online courses. Very, very good. This is lifelong learning. Okay. Uh, and then we, we must start creating our plan, our life plan for future, for our family one day. Kita kena ada plan. And put it visually, meaning that you can create a poster, katakan you nak jadi, you know, uh, engineer, you you start photo, what do you call that? Uh, Photoshop yourself and then put in that particular picture, the bungalow or your dream house too, you put yourself in front of that dream house, your dream car, you put yourself inside that dream car, your face driving it, you know. So look at it every day, okay. Look at it every day and then you are going to materialize it, okay. And then you need to start acting it, put new actions into practice and adopt positive mindset, okay. Good manners are very, very important as well. That's why we need to do good deeds, uh, like help others, yeah, others. And then, now what you can do is to list the personality traits that you want to develop. For example, yeah, friendliness, caring, alertness, open-minded, so you list down. Okay, I want to be like this lah after this. Yeah, uh, these are the things that I want to aim. And then, at the same time, you have to jot down some habits that you want to minimize. You sedar, okay? You know who you are, kan? There must be some bad habits that we have currently, even me, okay? So, uh, gossiping, membawang, kan? Procrastinating, missing in action, tak datang kelas, skipping classes. So, kita list down. Slowly, we will get it, get them rid of our list. Case, but we need to start from small to big, slowly. Start small, but start from somewhere, please, okay? And don't forget to have life and work balance, life and study balance by developing your interests, your hobbies, and that's what we call me time. What do you like the most? Hiking, mountaineering, swimming, snorkeling, playing guitar, yeah? Uh, playing game, yes, no problem, okay? Public speaking, debate, please go ahead and develop those interests, brush it up, okay? And it can be one of your therapies. When you feel so down, when you feel like you don't have nothing in your life, but you still have your interests and hobbies that you can cling on, that you can be happy because you have this talent, and it will feel like, you know, so much energy at that moment. All right? So heroes are made by the path they choose, not the powers they are graced with. All right? So the path that we choose, actually, those are the real heroes, even though they have very, very high superpower, very powerful elements with them. But if they choose the correct path, that's the true hero. Okay, guys? So that's all from me today. Um, thank you very much for being so attentive. Uh, and I'm so blessed today with your participation. Thank you so much. And I pass to our... MC. All right. Thank you very much, Madam Aida, for the meaningful and informative session just now. Now, we are going to move our focus to what the audience have to say. But I'm really sorry if you cannot open the chat. However, you can ask verbally and for, for those who can open the chat, you can ask the question there. But before, the, before we answer the questions, 
I would like to remind you a surprise awaits for all viewers in our event today. So make sure you still until the you stay until the end to know what the surprise is. So if anyone have any question, just press the hand icon and I will call out your name. Anyone have any question? You can ask uh, us and Madam Ida will answer your questions. Just press the hand button to raise your hand. Okay, we, ha uh, we have uh, one person. Harvin Dane. Okay, so Harvin Dane, uh, just turn on your mic and ask the question. Harvey Dean, are you there? Okay, uh, I will uh, there's some questions in the chat. Uh. So the first question is uh, how from Sabrina, how to balance in investing for our appearance without overly grooming? So, Madam Aida, you can ask. Uh, you can answer the question now. Okay, thank you, uh, Sabrina. Yeah? Uh, just now, the question related to how do we balance our appearance and budget? Is it uh, from overly grooming? Oh, okay. We don't want to to be look so um, like might make other people feel uncomfortable about our appearance right okay that's very good uh question because uh for beginners yeah we thought that we need to groom ourselves and suddenly we tend to overly yeah uh or maybe wrongly choose our outfit wrongly choose the color that perhaps doesn't match us. Okay, so this thing, yeah, this kind of uh, issues here, yeah, Sabrina, we need to, first thing first, uh, we need to study ourselves first, okay? Study our skin, okay? Study our height and weight, okay? And uh, besides, uh, we need to also find out the colors that suit our, our color, our skin colors as well. Okay, sometimes um, uh, we have a uh, different tones, for example, and if we wrongly chose yeah, the lip lippy color, for example, it turned out to be like too overly red uh, in a very, um, what do you call that, serious environment, and it's not like uh, something um, gala dinner that we need to dress up and all that. Yeah, uh, 
we need to get this this kind of knowledge first. Uh, so we need to know our skin color. We need to know our uh, type of body. Yeah. Uh, we need to know our height, our uh, weight as well, and also get some information from Google. We can YouTube it. Okay. We can even ask Madam Ida to conduct a workshop on that. Okay. Uh, and and then all of the information we can collect, try to apply on ourselves first. Okay. Uh, because uh, in order for us to improve on our grooming, uh, for example, clothing and appearance, we need to have a mentor. Okay, we need to have a mentor. Okay, tanya kawan, tanya um, the expert. Okay, what should I wear? Should I wear this color? Should I wear this kind of clothes? Yeah. Uh, so we need to learn and get information first, Sabrina. Sometimes we can experiment, but we're afraid that we tend to appear very, yeah, <laughs> unsuitable or inappropriate. Okay, Sabrina, did I answer your question? Uh, Madam, can you uh, uh, can you also share the tips for us? Uh, Sabrina also asked how to balance in investing for our appearance without overly spending for oh, our spending. appearance. Okay, uh, because we are students, right? Uh, and we need to, of course, uh, check our bank balance before we invest on on this particular skincare product or maybe. Uh, like for example, things that we want to put on our our face, like foundation and such. Yeah. So the tips here, um, we we as a beginner, we need to go for the basic. Uh, kalau basic punya products, I don't think you need to spend so much. Okay. Um, let's say, let's say, the most important thing that. A person or a student should invest is your cleanser okay cleanser is very important and um, we can actually we have two option we have organic and maybe the the products from the drugstore products and they are also proven okay tested and everything so organic normally it will be a little bit expensive yeah, and the uh, product from drugstore, a little bit, um, you know, the price are ranging from uh, the one that we can afford and to very expensive one. So we choose based on our budget, okay? And then try it to our skin, whether it suitable, suits, and doesn't like um, affect our or damage our skin lah, eh? make sure yang tu. Okay, so cleanser penting. Uh, cleanser is number one. Number two is moisturizer for girls. Okay, for girls, moisturizer. If you use, uh, let's say, L'Oreal. Yeah, so you use L'Oreal and then you use moisturizer, the same moisturizer. L'Oreal cleanser, uh, L'Oreal moisturizer. Enough. That's enough for your skin because your skin are so young. Okay, you don't, you, you not age yet. No, no wrinkles whatsoever yet. Yeah. Uh, so you need to just clean, cleanse it and protect. Itu sahaja. Okay, because kulit kita masih muda. It can heal on its own very, very quickly compared to me with very less metabolic rate now. Yeah, nak healing, healing uh, process pun lambat. Yeah, parut and all that. But for you guys, you're very young. Don't have so much problem. So you invest on that, Janji. Kulit kita protected. Okay. And then uh, untuk daily punya use, makeup use, for example, what we need is basic foundation. So uh, we have uh, from the dr drugstore product, you know, ranging from Maybelline, kita ada Silky Girl, quite cheap, yeah, quite reasonable. And then uh, L'Oreal, all the products uh, in Guardian and Watson are okay. Okay, so it depends on your selection, your choice. Uh, tapi kita perlu foundation. Loose powder, eyeliner, and lipstick sahaja buat masa ni. Ah, so make sure you ada empat ini in your in your makeup kit enough. Okay, 
Mm. And then uh, for cleanser, starting with those two item, cleanser and moisturizer, it's good enough. Uh, kalau yang tak suka pakai lipstick, okay, you nak pakai lip balm pun boleh. Uh, lip balm that can turn the the blood, yeah, the, the color uh, based according to your blood. Lip eyes, if you notice kan, lip eyes too, the brand lip eyes, so you can buy that. Mm. Okay, madam. Thank you. So, uh, the second question is from Harveen. Uh, hi, I'm Harveen. I'm sorry, but I missed some parts earlier about your male grooming advices. So, could you summarize your tips on the male matter only? Mm, okay, male. Yeah. Um, getting male, uh, same thing like the girls, the ladies, we need to also take care of our skin from now on. Okay. So our facial uh, skin should be cleansed every day. Hi. <laughs> Is that a question? No? Okay, <laughs> I shall uh, continue. Huh? Um, all right, so facial skin should be taken care of. We must clean it, but you cannot clean your face dengan sabun mandi je. Uh, kan yang, yang lux ke or they told to because the pH is very high. It will tear your skin. Okay, so it, your skin will break out. Jangan, ya? don't use that. Okay, so invest lah sedikit. Uh, maybe around 20 ringgit or maybe ada belas-belas je, like 15 ringgit, 12 ringgit on any product. Local product pun boleh, drugstore product pun boleh uh, in Watson Guardian tu. Um, and then you cleanse your face every morning and then sebelum tidur, before sleeping, twice per day. And if you don't want to put anything lah, eh, at least cleanse your face uh, so you can remove all those particle sweat yeah, that will clog your pores. Itu je. Okay, and then um, if you want to meet people, make sure at least you apply uh, something on your lips. Uh, don't uh, make it like looks very uh, dry ataupun crack uh, yeah drink a lot of water okay make sure drink a lot of water as well and uh, that is for facial okay now uh, we need to also consider about our body odor uh, our armpit yeah make sure we have deodorant or you can spray your your cologne all right and uh, hair at least we have hair gel uh, macam PKP, we cannot cut our hair. Uh, just make sure that we shampooed and then cleanse, uh, rinse and dry it. Uh, just make sure no dandruff and whatsoever. Yeah, itu sahaja. And put some some uh, oil and also uh, trim trim our facial hair. Uh, if if you feel like okay, no shave November. <laughs> Okay, no shave November trending can. Uh, well, it's up to you because you're not going anywhere, Poon. Tapi, uh, you need to look at yourself again. Okay, do I look good like this? And what about hygiene, can? Uh, make sure you bersihkan. You make, uh, there's no, uh, there's nothing stuck in between our hair. That's all, okay? And um, what else? Um, that I can summarize, uh, of course, our shirt, lah, our shirt and pants. Make sure we do our laundry. Okay, at least we need to to wash our clothes. Uh, and don't like soak uh, in the pail for two, three days, can, and then forgot to brush it or, you know, like uh, dry it. Uh, try to change, lah. try to change this behavior because uh, sometimes we think that our, even though we have um, washed it, but the smell is still there, you know. Um, we need to sembuh-sembuh sikit spray dengan perfume pula because we have soaked it for a week. Uh, sebab tu berbau, okay. Uh, so this, but our body is good, but the clothing pula berbau. So it's, it's a big no. Yeah, so do our laundry properly. Make sure lepas kita rendam cepat-cepat kita terus uh, dry it. Lepas so put soft line a bit. Uh, so at least tak ada smell apa-apa. 
Okay. Uh, so, other than body odor tu, our clothing should be taken care of as well. Our breath also, eh? oral hygiene, uh, brush our teeth, uh, even though kita duduk kat rumah je, uh, tak payahlah, <laughs> kan? Uh, tak boleh macam tu, eh? we need to to take care uh, of our personal hygiene tu. Okay, so from facial, mouth, and then hair, uh, clothing, right? At least uh, we feel comfortable with ourselves. That's the most important thing, yeah? Uh, Harvin, okay, Harvin? Did you get me? Okay. Okay, madam. Uh, the third question is from Nur Amira. Uh, she said, Assalamualaikum, madam. I had attended a grooming class before this, and the speaker said that baju kurung with modern cutting is not suitable for formal occasions. May I know the reasons why? Thank you so much, madam. Okay, sorry, the uh, the name, uh, the participant's name again? Nur Amira. Amira, okay, thank you Amira for asking this type of uh, question. Baju kurung with modern cutting, yeah? Okay, um, first thing first, we need to check on the occasion first, yeah? Uh, we need to make sure, we need to know what type of occasion. Kalau kenduri, uh, it's okay, kan? Ramai semua. Everybody is dressing up, okay? Uh, that one is good. Okay, fine. But if, let's say, we are having uh, a meeting with delegates, yeah, with with uh, some of them are quite old people, yeah, the elderly in the conference, in the meetings, okay, why that particular... Um, um, what you call that, yeah? um, image consultant, yeah? selalu grooming class, kita ada image consultant. Why that image consultant uh, prohibit the girls to, to be wearing the, the kurung modern, right? Kurung modern during uh, serious or important occasion. Okay, one thing, sebab, Sorry to say, eh, macam guys, eh, but I need to point it out. Uh, make sure that the, the shape, uh, the shape of the kuro modern currently, young fashion fashion sekarang ni, it's like too tight, okay? So too tight until uh, it can expose certain parts of the female bodies, okay? So um, the shape tu, terlampau, Mengikut bentuk badan, they follow the shapes of a lady, you know. So when we are in a, a formal event attended by menteri ke, you know, or maybe boss-boss yang besar-besar ni, tua-tua, you know what I meant? They would look like um, it's inappropriate. Kalau nak hari raya, tak takpelah eh. Ataupun during kenduri or feast or festival, that one is is okay to me, yeah. Uh, OOTD, that one is okay. But when you want to go for a meeting, wearing like too much exposed, even though covered, but the shape is exposed pun, it's actually not very formal. Uh, because, let me tell you, uh, it depends on our religion also. Eh? It depends on our religion. So for Muslim, we need to wear moderately. Okay, uh, we need to cover. Okay, kita dah fully cover dah pakai baju kurung ni. But, but, so what's wrong, kan? What's wrong? I dah fully covered. But make sure kita tidak begitu menonjol uh, certain parts. Uh, okay, so that is... The thing that we need to check balik wardrobe kita, baju ni ketat sangat ke dengan saya? Ataupun saya dah, you know, uh, put on weight. Uh, so better uh, stop dulu wearing that that baju or the dress. Uh, kuruskan badan balik. Alright. And eat, um, you know, balance food balik. And then when we are in a good shape, then only you can wear it again. Uh, so don't wear something that it's too tight or maybe too uh, following, you know, like what do you call that, yeah? Body shaped, yeah, that can um, expose the body shape too much. Uh, so I think that's 
that's about it. Mm. Okay, madam, thank you. Mm. So uh, the next question is from Muhammad Akil Haziq. And uh, the first question from him is better wear sweet, sweet perfume or bull perfume. Second one is blazer can wear unbuttoned or need to, to be buttoned. Hmm, Haziq, yeah? Akil Haziq. Okay, thank you, Akil Haziq, for the question. Uh, perfume sweet, sweet, the <laughs> pun bowl, bowl. Eh? Okay, uh, Haziq, so for the perfume, uh, you need to also evaluate or assess the situation and the occasion, lah, occasion. So when you want to, like, um, we, uh, Haziq gave us sweet and and uh and strong line eh? strong yeah. eccentric and strong okay tapi kan uh um macam mana eh perfume guys yang sweet sweet ni madam tak pernah bau okay selalunya girls who <laughs> sweet sweet okay tapi tak apa ada je uh alright perfume yang sweet sweet normally we can wear daily Okay, we can go to class. Kita boleh pakai perfume sweet. Okay, uh, if you want to meet with your beloved one, you boleh pakai sweet sweet. It depends sebenarnya. Okay, but now we want to focus on the formal occasion. Macam meeting ya. Uh, so kalau meeting, I don't suggest you to put on this sweet scent of or sweet note of perfume ataupun cologne. Alright, uh, it has to be a little bit strong. Um, Wood, okay, sandalwood, uh, ataupun yang refreshing like citrus, yeah. Um, so this would uh, make us in the mood of focusing, yeah, uh, and then manly smell, okay, uh, rather than so light, all right. So that is for the perfume tips, okay. And yang lagi satu um, about blazer. Uh, blazer tu, uh, when it depends what type of dress code, is it business casual or formal dress code? Kalau you are wearing a full suit to attend a conference or maybe closing event, yeah, closing ceremony and whatnot, you are required to wear or dinner, kan? maybe you, you need to have full black suit, yeah? Uh, tuxedo ke, okay, whatever. So you have the black pants and then your black uh, blazer. So bila you duduk, when you are sitting down, you can open, you can unbutton it. Okay, you can unbutton it. But when you are stand up, okay, when you are stand up, you quickly need to button it. Uh, okay, so that is the tips. So bila you berdiri lah, when you are standing, make sure your coat ataupun blazer should be buttoned. Alright? When you are seated, you want to enjoy the dinner, you want to eat, kan? Uh, the course, yeah? And then you boleh unbutton. Okay. Uh, and then, if you are wearing it with, you know, like trend and fashion, you're wearing coat on a V-neck shape, yeah? V-shaped V neck, or round collar shirt yang kat inside tu and then you wear jeans pun boleh and that one looks business casual yeah or smart casual so that one you can you don't have to button it okay has it yeah okay madam thank you uh so the next question is from anas assalamualaikum and good morning madam i have a question how do we know that we are dressed to impress uh, and also according to the dress code because sometimes being overdressed or underdressed is a bummer. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you Anas. All right, um, again, that's why we need to be very, very knowledgeable in analyzing the event, okay? Look at the occasion that we are about to attend, and if we do not know, alama, what kind of dress code nah, that I should be wearing on this Saturday night, for example, on this uh, weekday night, yeah, because I have an event. Okay, so don't hesitate to ask the organizer. Uh, that is the most in the easiest way lah uh, to get the information. 
eh uh, boleh tak cerita sikit eh program ni sebenarnya tentang apa eh uh, I kena kena buat apa okay what should I do uh, should I like uh, bagi talk ataupun bagi um, opening speech ke uh, you know you ask uh, oh hello uh, sh- may I know um, uh, what is my role as attending this and then uh, how long and then may I know the tentative program okay okay we will forward to you okay we will forward forward the tentative for you so from that when we analyze it Oh, program ni formal ni. Nampaknya ada menteri, kan? Ada tu, ada ni, and then ada bos-bos. So, I think I need to be, to put on a little bit formal dress code. Oh, oh tak, tak. Program ni dia simple-simple je, kawan kita ataupun the the lecturer ke, eh? The program organizer ke mention that, oh, no need. Program ni simple je. It's actually uh, gotong royong sebenarnya, okay? So, you don't have to put on your formal attire. Uh, so, what need to match with the program is uh, baju, baju sukan, okay, ataupun the smart casual pun boleh sebab kita just nak merasmikan gotong rohyo, something like that lah eh, uh, supaya you all boleh faham, okay, that the most important thing if we are in doubts, we need to ask for clarification, yeah, rather than we apalah, pakai je lah apa pun, uh, kan, so when we decide on wearing whatever we like, then we go, we attend the particular event. That's why we look like, oh my God, I am like too overdressed. Oopsie. Oh my God, I am so underdressed. Ramanya menteri kat sini. Oh my God. So you see, kita tak nak ada perasaan yang macam tu. So make sure get the tentative, get the the overview of the program first before we are deciding on our wardrobe. Okay, madam. Thank you. Uh, so this is the last question from uh-huh. Putri Nur Aishatul. Madam, I used to go to interviews for scholarship. Should be normal to wear formal clothes, blazer and slap pants. Uh, however, in this one interview, when I arrived, other, interview- other interviewees wore floral dresses casual. I ended up being in an awkward situation. So what is your opinion of this situation? Oh, okay. Putri, yeah? Okay. So Putri, actually Putri, um, you were attending. Or attending ataupun dah sesudah? I used to go used to interviews. To. Okay. So, uh, when we look at the, the interview, eh, the word interview, um we know that we are about to portray our image to the panels and you are not wrong okay uh, putri you are in fact doing the correct thing and it is not audition kan ataupun something yang uh, not important or not formal it is interview so with regard to interview it sounds very formal unless if the in the email they they mention about dress code no need to wear formal dress code okay but if um, the organizer didn't mention about the dress code we need to wear formal okay because the interview itself is is very formal they want to see how we dress up how properly we dressed up okay when we looked at someone who dress very you know uh loosely and then happily with floral and then like maxi can we started to feel like uh alamak, betul ke? am i in the correct place or is this this did the organizer inform her <clears throat> that no need to wear so uh, formal kan, wear casual pun tak apa, uh, so macam ni ya. Um, first thing first, that's why we need to understand the occasion, we need to know whether it is interview or audition or something that is not formal first, yang tu kita kena determine first, but in this case it's interview session and it's of course always formal and by wearing the things that you wore on that day, the coat or the blazer and the black pants, it portrays the professional look. So you know that, you know that. 
you learn from me also and you learn from the other image consultant that this is the look for interview. You could Google lagi kan? Uh, betul lah macam ni. So you yakin, you must be confident with what you have learned and the knowledge that you already got with you. Never get affected or influenced with or by other people around us. Because kita ada ilmu. That differentiates us with other people. Okay, boleh faham eh? So uh, now the, the outsiders, they cannot affect and influence our our thinking, our behavior and even our appearance because we know that for sure interview is formal and therefore I am wearing this and I know that I am doing the good thing, the right thing. Okay, uh, so don't worry about the external factors if you have true knowledge. Okay? Okay. Thank you, Adam. Most welcome. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Madam Aida, for your valuable responses towards the questions. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the last of the string of questions from our viewers to the speaker. We are truly sorry for not being able to answer all the questions that you have sent to us, but we greatly thank you for sending them. Unfortunately, we have reached the climax of today's session. On behalf of the program management, I would like to thank our speaker for joining us today and also for providing us your precious talks on today's topic. And for the audience, we would like to extend our utmost gratitude for making time to join us via, via the comment section and also through the meeting room. Furthermore, do, do ensure that you register your participations in the link pane in our comment section to obtain a scoring point. And also, there you will find a question on why do you think appearance and character grooming is important for future professionals? You may choose to answer that question. And for the best three answers, a cash prize of RM10 awaits the winners. The winners will be announced through, through our official BrushUp Instagram page at BrushUp underscore ULIT after the program ends. So be ensure, be ensure to answer the question wholeheartedly to you for you to win the prize. Before ending this event, I would like to invite Madam Aida to give her closing remarks, hopes and dreams for the future and also a few words of encouragement to our future professionals joining us today. Wow, uh, this is another opportunity for me to extend my gratitude and heartiest thanks to all of you, especially Azian, Naim and the team, the organizer. Um, and my beloved participant today who are willing to learn, yeah, um, bit by bit, slowly, okay, but surely you guys are going to portray the dream and professional image one day. Uh, this is the time, guys. This is the most important phase in our life to brush up, yeah, to improve and to enhance our persona. Persona is our image, all right? And um, as a conclusion for today, I would like all of you to understand the meaning of our existence and then feel the God's love towards us because the love that he has always, you know, uh, given to us is unconditional, unconditional, yeah? And as we feel grateful, we know, we know and accept ourselves. we will never hurt ourselves. we'll never hurt our feeling, and we always take care of ourselves from now on, okay? And then the next thing that I would like to encourage all of you to practice is to start creating a mindful living okay you start to slow down the pace and you enjoy every moment that you have in this life especially the people who are in front of us our parents yeah those are precious take your time 
to discover and to bond, you know, strengthen the bond between you and your family from now on. Rather than we have those thousand miles, friends virtually playing games and then we forget to look in their eyes when we are talking, okay? So the, the people or the person who are in front of us is more important than the person who are calling us at that time. Talk to them now, okay? Settle everything first and then only we can entertain other digital and virtual living. Enjoy the moment, okay? And the third thing that I would like you to be clear and be encouraged is to upskill yourself. Tingkatkan sebanyak mana skill yang kita mampu during our study course. Yeah? Study duration, this is the platform to build ourselves, to build our portfolio, knowledge and skills. This is the time. And never forget that learning process will not and after you have attended your convocation, okay? It doesn't stop there. It's just about the beginning of your life. Lifelong learning is important. So have in, keep it in your mind that after this, I'm going to keep on learning and learning and learning because our life course will continue becoming the staff becoming a family man or woman, becoming parents, can becoming a very good businessman or businesswoman one day. Everything got need knowledge. Semua tu perlukan knowledge. Macam mana nak jadi parent? Parenting knowledge, investment, property investment need knowledge, business need knowledge, entrepreneurship skills and such. And then when we getting old. Of course, we need knowledge to make us feel, you know, to get the inner peace, religious knowledge, to get us get, you know, pre prepared for our here after life. Can semua tu perlukan ilmu. It's very important. So set in your mind that lifelong learning culture, yeah, is my objective. Okay, I'm not gonna stop here after completing my degree, yeah? Perhaps if you want to for the master's PhD, yes, those are academic qualification, but the real life knowledge is very, very important as well. Okay, especially to make sure our mental, mental health is, is taken care of. Ya, macam kita tak nak stress, kita nak relax, nak jaga kesihatan, kan? Because we want to love others, we want to take care of other people. And the most important thing if we can contribute back to other people. That's the highest level. All right? And then last but not least, yeah, we need to fulfill our passion with positivity. Uh, whatever work that we are doing, whatever profession that we might be, you know, doing later on, make sure you put love towards it, okay? Make sure you love what you are doing and you stay positive about it and spread this positivity. Okay, guys, so these are my final words. Yeah, I wish you guys all the best and I know that you are going to grow up becoming a very, very holistic graduate yeah, one day, inshallah. And this is my prayer. Okay? That's all from me. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Stay safe. Yeah? Thank you very much, uh, Madam Aida, for your words of encouragement. Before going, I would like to thank the organizing team behind today's, today's event, YTN, UNITEN, and also College of Engineering for allowing us to use ULIT as a platform to introduce undergraduates and other individuals with a variety of soft and professional skills in which they can utilize in the future working environment and at the same time gain new discovered discover knowledge to help build and groom characters in search of self-betterment.
thank you very much, Madam Ida and audience for a remarkable time today. Hope to see you all in brush up upcoming session. I'm Nur Azan Bitti Abdullah, your host for today. Signing off. Farewell and stay safe. Mm -hmm.